a month and a few days from 1852 as the first black male person, black person, I want you to get it plain and clear from me. Judge in the seven cities of Cobb County, Georgia. I need you to know why my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. I've not been waiting to die to see his glory just in heaven. I wanted to see his glory on earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. His glory on earth as it will be in heaven. There will be no color. There will be no discrimination. There will be no your religion, my religion, your church, your denomination. It won't be. Not in heaven. We're going to be all angels. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm walking because that's what I was doing when they sent me to Marietta. I didn't just fight with white people. I had more white friends than black friends. Right there, and I'm pointing on that street, was where my car, it was a black woman that threw a bottle at my car. Oh, they would get so angry at me, yo. They would be so mad. Oh, yes, Lord. And one thing, Mr. Flanagan and Earl Schenholster, Miss Hurley was dying during that time. She was taking me into the federal prison. I don't know why I was, I don't know why they chose me to train. Because, you know, I was not looking for that. I just wanted a house. Now I don't even care about a house. I just I just want a senior community now. <laughs> Ain't that funny? <laughs> mm-hmm. They oh trust me, they're awesome. <laughs> but I remember they told me, Miss Hurley, Merlene, Miss Wyatt, say don't party with nobody. Whatever you do in the dark. In secret, you got to walk that walk in the public's eye. Because every eye is going to be on you. Yeah, I served as a temporary president of Marietta until we could get that charter back in here. No, I'm not listed on the site. Oh, Lord, when I met up with Mr. Over in Jackson, Mississippi, for the first fair share convention. Mr. Penn said he thought I was a fat, ugly old woman. See, we had to get a little nasty sometimes. We had to fight the fight that we wanted our charter back. I didn't live in Marietta, I lived in Mableton. And one of my fears as a woman living in that area, and and folks say that you shouldn't fear, you shouldn't this, fear God, and the Bible say that, and that is the truth. But some situations can cause situations. Miss Willieva Petty and myself were the only two women driving up that road. Day in, night out, in the dark, behind the corner. So it was dangerous times then. And we got that charter. The rain is dropping on me. We got that charter back out here in Cobb County. Started as Marietta, then Marietta Cobb. It was just a lot of paperwork we had to do and stuff we had to go protocol with. Um, not give up. I can remember all you had to do is tell Mr. Kilgore and J.C. Dodd and Dover Farrell, I need this many people. And don't forget Raymond Moss. Uh, See, there were folks behind the scene 
that when I needed the money, they had it there. We just needed those names on the record so that we had to always have 50 members and either the SCLC or the NAACP to get a, that charter back into Cobb County. Lord, we fought more among ourselves than anywhere. It didn't matter title. It mattered that what was done needed to be done. The plan of action was to name it Cobb County Branch. You don't need but one charter in any county. You don't need a charter in Fulton, DeKalb, uh, well, Fulton, the city of Atlanta, uh, East Point. That's too many people. We just needed one charter in Cobb County. God blessed us. Deanne Bonner and I was fighting from day one. When I came, they gave me two names, three names. They gave me Deanne Bonner, Miss Phelps, and Dover Farrell. From day one, Deanne, we were two headstrong women. Okay, more money was raised under Deanne Bonner than anybody in the history of the NAACP. With the exception of Jandia Johnson. But folks helped us. That woman has done a lot. Her daughter said, Mama, listen to Mary. She always prays you. But I remember, I remember, oh yes, Lord, oh yes. I'm excited about Jesus. You see that sign right there that say, Lemon and Waddell. I was standing right about where my finger is when the head of the Ku Klux Klan I wanted to meet him. I, I wanted to meet him and I didn't think they was big enough to shoot in my house. It was around, we had already signed the fair share agreement. Okay, we had already won a lawsuit out of that building right there where I'm pointing at. Um, when it was harassment, you will not work in this county. You will not come through that building and ever get a job on record. Y'all hear me praise Judge James G. Botterford. I do it because he gave me a job. He signed an order every year for me to come back into the courtroom as his bailiff. I was not a bailiff under the sheriff department. I was a bailiff, his personal bailiff. Don't know why I never was hired under the ship. It don't even matter. It was at this corner that I stood at this corner, and I'm going to have to do a part two with this. Just start to click it off right now and click it right now.